So let's start on this side of the shelf. Um, back there we have some of the Zara Emotions collection. I love that collection and um, my favorite probably is the Vetiver Pomplamousse. Um, and Joe's Rhubarb is awesome too. Then I have some unopened travel size perfumes here. These ones, I'm not sure if I'm keeping for myself or maybe they will turn into gifts in the future. Sometimes um, I don't know what to give to people, so um, I grab like a travel size to gift. Um, there's this one, Black Orchid. I love the scent. I know that it's such a polarizing scent, but I am really crazy about this scent. Um, I think that there's actually another one back here. Yeah, I got two of them. So um, something to just throw in my bag. This is the EDP version. Um, I really love the EDT as well. And um, here we have uh, My Way Intense. Really nice wearable, pretty scent. I have two of those, I think. And then here we have... Uh, C Passion Eclat. Very mass appealing, very nice sweet berry scent. Now in this little box we have my minis. I don't really collect them, they just have been accumulated. They've been accumulating over the years. So this one here, M7 from YSL. I really like this scent. Um, it's very sought after now, but uh, I really like this. It's a beautiful oud scent. I think it's been considered, or I think it's considered one of the first oud scents in the designer market, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I really love this one. It's for men, but I wear it too. I would wear it. This is a super cute mini of um, Angel Nova from Mugler. I have some discontinued Terry Mugler minis here, um, Muir, Miroir, I think that's the uh, name of the collection, Miroir des Secrets, Dis Moi, Miroir, and then I have some other ones here as well. What's this one here? Lady Million, some Mont Guerlain. this one I have a bottle of. Ooh, cinema. I think this is such an underrated scent. It is a gorgeous vanilla perfume. Um, not really sure why it's not very popular. I think it's so, so gorgeous. Oh, I kind of want this one. <laughs> I do want a bottle of this uh, sometime, L'Ombre de Merveille. There's a black opium. This is on my wish list, Prada Candy Night. Um, beautiful cocoa scent. Cocoa and I think vanilla, it's kind of powdery and sweet. It doesn't last very long, but um, it smells really, really nice and I don't really mind reapplying. There's some cute little Tom Fords. Here is a uh, black orchid, um, white patchouli. Yeah, I don't, this one doesn't really work well for me. <laughs> um, I think this one's discontinued. The Tom Ford for men. Mm, what else we got here? Maybe I should do a separate video on that someday. Just showing off the cute little minis. Like, um, I keep them in their boxes, but the, the minis themselves are really, really cute. I really like this version of Scandal, the Parfum. It does remind me of... Um, Hypnotic poison, though, a little bit. So back here, some samples and even some more uh, mini slash travel sizes. Okay, so let's move on to the next row here. I have some Bottega Veneta scents. I think Bottega Veneta doesn't make perfumes anymore, unfortunately, but um, I think it's very underrated, their scents. Labsalu, I love this Bottega Veneta Knot, I love as well. And then their first fragrance, just called Bottega Veneta, that leather scent, it's so, so nice as well. Back there, I have some Zara scents. 
um, my favorites, Rose Gourmand, Nocturnal Life, which is um, a dupe of Angel Share, which is right here. But the dupe is really nice as well. Um, some of my other favorite Zara's, Sweet Pastry in Paris, they stopped making, but it's so, so delicious. And the Mochi Atelier in Tokyo, a mochi scent, which isn't very common. I don't know any other fragrances that feature mochi as a note. Golden Decade. This is such a great um, scent that is similar to YSL Libre Intense, which is up here. Givenchy Pie. I have some vintage versions here. Um, this is one of my favorite men's scents, men's marketed scents of all time. Um, I did a tag video talking about some of my favorite men's marketed scents, and I totally forgot this one. This is my number one, you guys, Givenchy Pie, the vintage version. And how you know it, whether it's the vintage version is uh, the pie symbol is down here, but in the new bottles, the pie symbol is like in this area. Anyways, it's a very sweet vanilla benzoin scent. It is resinous and so sexy and unisex, and I love it so much. Um, I have a flanker of it back here that I also really enjoy as well. This is the uh, Eau Fresh version with the green juice. Yeah, I don't wear it very often, but I really, really enjoy it as well. It's very fresh. A fresher version of Givenchy Pie. Okay, so in the next row here, um, we have some Lolita Lempica. My favorite Lolita Lempica is easily this one here. It's a classic. It's the original uh, black licorice, delicious scent, woody, and... Um, I love the bottle, but they changed it now. I also have the sweet version. I got two bottles here. This is the sweet, and this is also, um, oops, this is a bigger version. It is a simple um, cherry scent. Um, old bottle, you can see all the lip marks there. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember trying the new version of sweet, but I'm guessing um, it's been reformulated. In this row, we have some Trusardi back there, and Cloud, and this is the only Chloe that I own, Chloe perfume. Um, you can see the cap here has rusted. I don't know why. <laughs> That's kind of bugging me. Um, but this is the uh, Low Eau de Toilette version, and it smells like a very delicate, soft, and airy grapefruit citrus with rose. I really, really enjoy this. It's very dainty. And um, when I wear it, I feel extra feminine. In the next column here, we have one Juicy Couture. This one is actually, if I can reach it, this one is actually my wedding scent. Um, this is the original Juicy Couture. And it's a floral gourmand scent. Um, I believe there's tuberose in it. Um, there's also caramel. So it's a sweet floral scent. Um, it does perform really nicely and it's a very nostalgic scent. It reminds me of my wedding day and I still really enjoy it, um, but I don't wear it. <laughs> um, I have worn it on the anniversary day though. Um, but yeah, it's a nice scent by Juicy Couture. It's my favorite from Juicy Couture. Okay, so there's some more just random ones. Lady Million Privé here. It's, I think, my favorite. Um, the Lady Million line doesn't really get um, much praise, maybe because of the bottle designs. <laughs> Um, I go back and forth of whether I think they're uh, really nice bottles or just like super tacky. Um, but it's kind of like a diamond gemstone 
kind of shape. Lots of shapes there. I think this was a tester. That's why there's a sticker there. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice, um, sweet cocoa scent. Very underrated, and I'm guessing that it's now discontinued. Oops. Okay. Ooh, this one here, Tiramisu from Tuto Tondo. It was a blind buy for me, but I really enjoy it. It's a very light scent, a light gourmand that does smell like tiramisu. Um, the coffee, whipped cream, chocolate powder or cocoa powder uh, doesn't last very long, but for the time that it does last, it's just a very realistic and enjoyable scent to wear, um, enjoyable gourmand. There are some others from this house that I'm really curious about. There's one that's called Castagna. I think it's called that, and that's a hazelnut scent. And also there's a scent um, called Riso, uh, which is a rice perfume. So hopefully I can one day try those. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice, cheapy, underrated scent from Tuto Tondo. And I think that's an Italian house. Okay, so back here we have um, bright peach. It's a really nice dupe of Tom Ford um, bitter peach. We have some Elizabeth and James Nirvana scents. We have the scent that I always talk about, especially lately, uh, 71 Charosa, a delicious gourmand. And um, I'm hoping that they come out with a EDP of it, a stronger version, because this one doesn't last very long, but it's so, so, so delicious. Okay, so now on the right side of this shelf, we have a lot of travel size perfumes. Um, in this one, I think it's mostly Zara roller balls. Let's see what I can pick out here. Here's Vetiver Pomplamousse. And yeah, these are roller balls, and I do, when I do wear them, um, I would decant them into uh, atomizer sprays. And I made a video about that a long time ago. Um, I can link that down there in the description box. Um, it's very, very easy, you guys. And so that's a vetiver pump and loose. Here is waterfall broom. I think they stopped making that already. Surfing feelings. I don't even remember what that smells like. <laughs> Water lily tea dress. I love this one. Um, I have a bottle of it. It's a really nice green, grassy, floral scent. And in this box, I have some more travel sizes. Yeah, I'm not sure. You know what? I, I think one day I will... Sorry. <laughs> I think one day I will make a separate video on these travel sizes, but I just find them to be so convenient. Uh, just to throw in your purse and to enjoy fragrance, to reapply and everything. I have another My Way here, My Way Floral. Very easygoing scent. I don't talk about My Way very often, but I do like it. Oh, here's another intense version. Um, what's this one? Diptyque O Rose. Really nice as well. I have a Carnal Flower Mini, one of the best tubro scents. Not my favorite though, but it's one of the best. Um, Bitter Peach, love this one. Um, I need a bottle of it someday, <laughs> but at least I can wear this one in the meantime. I think it's like half full. This is One Umbrella for Two, which is one of my favorite gourmand scents. Um, I have two of these. Uh, but I don't have a bottle. I want to get a bottle sometime. This one smells like uh, blueberry muffins straight from the oven. It is warm and delicious and expensive. <laughs> so I never see them on sale. Hopefully one day I will and then I'll pick up a bottle. But for now, I can just wear um, my travel size of it. That's not going in there. Let's just put down there. 
what's this oh this is Dusita this was gifted from a viewer thank you so much I think Oud Infini is in this one which I heard is now discontinued it's such an interesting scent that Oud Infini um, and we have Pure Musk by Narciso Rodriguez for her I love and adore this scent um, I love the house a lot and uh, maybe after I finish this one I can get a bottle of it I think it's worth owning the bottle for and then I have some Maison Francis Crookshawn ones this is the Baccarat Rouge Extrait um, kind of on my wish list um, very expensive not in a rush but maybe one day I can get that and let's see Atelier Cologne Orange Singly so that was the a shelf with a bunch of different things my travel sizes um, my minis uh, Zara's cheapies and all that kind of thing so now I will move down just a moment <laughs> Okay, I'll move down to this bottom shelf um, where I have a mix of a lot of stuff. <laughs> Not really that organized, but um, some candles as well. I'm really into candles too. So here is my fifth shelf. Um, there's some perfumes in here. It's kind of random scattered messy <laughs> um, I also have some candles here um, I'm really really into candles um, I don't talk about it very much but I really enjoy uh, luxury candles and also uh, cheapy candles um, yeah these just a mix some empties here <laughs> of my lush uh, products uh, shower gels uh, but let's get into this I'll start off on this side back there i have some mfk um lotions uh there's an oud lotion there and i don't remember i think the other one's um a palm a piece of me uh in the winter time my skin gets really dry so i like to moisturize with uh, some luxury lotion sometimes but most of the time i just wear like nivea just normal um a lotion okay this one here is a scent called gap grass it's a body mist i think that gap grass is the best from the the gap collection from the 90s um, i used to wear gap dream a lot but looking back um this one made a big impression on me as well um it smells like uh fresh cut lawn lawn clippings the grass i i really love that scent so much and um um maybe one day i can find a bottle of it but i do have a nice little travel size or mini well it's not really a mini um it's a body mist okay so here is one of the better green tea scents from the body shop uh, i think they discontinued that also discontinued aqualina here um blue sugar man and then just some other random things uh, the madonna scents here truth or dare this is the original this is truth or dare naked um, i will be seeing madonna very soon uh, beginning of um December uh, for her concert and I'm so looking forward to it <laughs> I am such a huge fan of hers um, not of her later music but mostly the 80s Madonna where um, she when she came out with the Immaculate Collection I was just like oh my gosh it's so so good I listened to it so so much even to this day now back here we have some diptyque candles we have cypress i haven't burned it yet i have an unopened one here this is from the um, christmas collection last year uh, etten cells um i'm burning a mini of it right now so that's why this one isn't open yet uh but this one's so good <laughs> this is a chocolatey woody smoky scent um the smokiness in here um is very realistic um so realistic that when i was burning this 
in my room my husband thought that something was on fire <laughs> um, but yeah it's a very realistic campfire scent and then you get um, a nice bitter dark chocolate with some sweetness it kind of reminds me of burning uh, of sorry of making a uh, s'mores you get that nice um, chocolate melted chocolate scent uh, it's very warm and I just really really love this Etten cells candle okay so back there there's the diptyque Christmas collection from a few years ago um, it's constellations really really nice ones as well these ones here that are open they're not burned yet though these are the uh, Joe oh, sorry Zara emotions collection that Joe loves uh, collaboration candles so this is ebony wood really nice scent and then this one is vetiver pomplamoose I think yeah that's vetiver pomplamoose then here I have a Yankee candle caramel whirl this one, the Snow Fairy, I got on discount on um, Boxing Day last year. Snow Fairy. I have a Baccarat one there. And this is just my backup of Alien. I have a cute little 15 mil. Alien actually um, gives me a headache <laughs> um, if I spray it uh, near my nose, just say on my neck or something. I have to be very careful of where I spray that and how much, but... I do really, really enjoy the scent. I think it's beautiful, but yeah, I have to be careful where I spray <laughs> and how much. Uh, some other candles I have here. Le Tamaris. These are just little mini ones, travel ones. Um, Vetiver. Uh, MFK a la Rose. Bays. That's probably, I'm going to guess their most popular one. And just a bunch of other ones down there. I think this is 540 is it oh no it's not <laughs> another ella rose scented candle for travel here i have some of my empties um i will be making a video on uh, the empties of the year here we go again with the 71 <laughs> my empty one just a little bit left in there but yeah, I will be making a video on empties at some point, um, probably in December. Okay, so back there I have, sorry, I'm just going to move up a little bit. Back there I have some more candles. These are the Labo Discovery Set candles. Um, I burnt the uh, Laurier. I have it here. This one, Laurier 62. Um, it smells like bay leaf. It's very herbal. Mm, I just loved wearing this. Um, I remember burning this when I was doing uh, another hobby that I don't think I've ever mentioned on this channel before. But I do really enjoy diamond painting. And I do that, um, you know, just a quiet activity. Um, especially if I'm having an extra stressful day and I just want some peace and quiet. I have this collection of diamond painting and I always burn a candle while I do it and I remember doing burning this one during that and yeah I really really enjoyed that so much oops <laughs> so in this discovery set let's see here I don't even remember what's in it let's see okay so we have Kalon 17, this is the Laurier 62 that I already burned, and then there's Vervain 32. So I think that I will probably burn another one of those when I do some more done painting. I haven't done any in months, but I think uh, in January I will be um, getting back on that. Um, January is a, a, a month where I have more time so I can do other things that I enjoy. In that box there <laughs> there are a bunch of minis in this box so I'm going to show you what's in here um, this is is dusty sorry about that 
Uh, this is a scent that um, I have loved for many years. I used to have a bottle of it. Um, I got compliments on that. I remember so many compliments. Um, but in here we have many minis of El de Lolita Lempica. And so I do have a bottle of this scent. Um, I left it back in Canada. Um, that was gifted to me from a friend slash viewer. Uh, thank you so much for that, if you're still watching. Um, but I do have a, some minis in here. Ooh, that almost fell over. That's not good. So here it is. <laughs> so, so cute. And this one is a spicy vanilla cinnamon scent. It's made by Maurice Roussel, who has also made Musk Ravageur. And there are definitely similarities between this El Dolalita Lempica and the Musk Ravageur. Um, this is sweeter, um, has less musk in it, um, not really animalic, um, but it's a delicious gourmand. I remember the compliment that I got um, in particular with this one. It was a coworker. Um, they said that I smell like cookies. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is such a delicious scent discontinued unfortunately but i'm glad that i have a bottle of it and also some minis that i can enjoy and wear and decant um there's some other minis there of lolita lampica okay so in this box here i have some perfumes um a long time ago and i think i've mentioned this uh, maybe once or twice in the past. Uh, maybe some of the viewers who have been watching me from the start might know this, but I at one time was interested in making my own scents. So I bought a lot of the ingredients, the notes, um, some essential oils and some perfume oils, and I did a little bit of experimenting. Um, later I discovered that I didn't really want to make my own perfumes. I actually enjoyed just smelling perfumes that um, are already made and in the market. Um, but at least in that process, um, I was able to learn a lot about notes and what they smell like on their own. Um, just training my nose to be able to recognize um, the smells in perfumes. So. In this box, I have some of my creations. So that's my box of experiments, uh, learning about perfumes on my own and treating my nose. But I don't think I'll go back to wanting to create my own. I mean, it was fun at the time, but I think now it's not for me. <laughs> so here we have a collection of the MFK Aqua series. So we have Aqua Vitae Forte, also we have Aqua Celestia, I do have a bottle of this one, it's finished now. I'll include that in my empties at some point. Aqua Universalis Forte, and so yeah, I do like the Aqua collection from MFK. Uh, my favorite is the Aqua Universalis, um, they're just really nice crisp clean scents they're like, they're like white t-shirt t-shirt scents to me um ones that you can wear with a white t-shirt <laughs> that's the thing that i get you can wear it obviously with anything you want but it's just a very nice clean crisp citrus uh, for the most part citrus and musk kind of scents very easy to wear and very classy um, so i'll do a separate video on that at some point here are the aran um, Aran Cosmetics Aran Collection <laughs> This was a gift uh, for my husband when he went to Scotland I am enjoying one in particular Like I think they're all really nice But in particular, I'm loving this After the Rain Really, really beautiful scent um, Maybe I'll do a separate review on that at some point But um, yeah, I'm really liking this a lot So... Now, back there, I have two bottles of Coco Rico um, from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Uh, they are now discontinued. Um, probably will get rid of those at some point because I don't wear them. <laughs> uh, 
Um, this eau de missions, um, discontinued, smells similar to Spiritus de Blavigny, but not as good. Um, but it is a very nice scent nonetheless. Um, some Zara's here. I don't know why they're not included with my other Zara's that are in this uh, row. I have some empty um, shower gels. Um, I was thinking that I was going to do like an empties video. Um, maybe sometime in the future. But yeah, that is this shelf, the fifth shelf. One, two, sorry, <laughs> let's see. One, two, three, four, the fifth shelf of just random candles, perfumes, empties, um, and um, that's about it. <laughs> so I have one more shelf to go, but it's not really... I don't know what to call it. There's not that many perfumes here, but I'll show you guys anyway. I might as well go all out with it. So this is the bottom one, the bottom shelf. And we have mostly some of my bedding, <laughs> some uh, pillowcases and some rags and stuff like that. Now, so in here, there's not much, you guys. I have just some random... Uh, this is a really good dupe of Marc Jacobs Decadence, the original. Um, I bought it at Action. It's a store in the Netherlands, kind of similar to Walmart, but just on a smaller scale. And it was like two or three euros. Actually, the travel size, I think, is like one something. And then I also have a big bottle of it. <laughs> and it's a very, very good dupe of the uh, Marc Jacobs Decadence. I really like that one. Back there. Oh my gosh. It's just a bunch of samples of hair care and lotion. And this box is the same. I have some samples here. This In this Hello Kitty box. Designer samples to review. Bottom one here has just this lonely <laughs> Floraiku um, discovery set. Okay, so wasn't very exciting sorry guys <laughs> I haven't opened this box in a long long time now in this little box here we have just some extra travel size scents woman in gold such a strong scent um, I, I've been trying to make it work sometimes it does work sometimes it doesn't so but I'm not gonna give up on it and some Maison Crivelli these are all extra de parfums and you just need like a half spray of these ones because they are so strong, <laughs> so intense. Um, when I wore this one in particular, Hibiscus Mahajad, um, I felt like I was choking out. I mean, it smelled nice. It was really sweet. Um, I'm going to have to experiment more with this house. Um, yeah, they're just so strong that I don't know. Sometimes I feel like... I could be offending others when I'm wearing them. Same with this one here. This Tamine Riviere. Um, it's so, so strong. Like, uh, I don't know. It's an x rate though. So I guess that's good, but I'm not really used to it. And then we have some a few of these Matière Premier. Um, sorry, it's blurry. Matière Premier uh, minis. So there's not much left here to show. Oh, this is really, really cool though. The Bulgari Le Gem collection. This one, um, let me just open it here. It's so, so nice. OMG. Oh, that's, I love that. <laughs> Ashlema, Maravilla, Kalaluna, Lilaya, and Amarina, and Nura. And my favorite is the Kalaluna. This one is a spicy milky scent kind of like chai tea um i actually love so many of these i love them all and i don't really talk about them much um this amarina is a cherry scent and maravilla is a fruity scent if i remember right and i just love them and i just think they're so gorgeous and underrated and i don't really hear so much about this le gem collection but i do think it's really good and yeah, that was the last section, the last shelf of my perfume collection. 
I do have some more, you guys. Um, <laughs> I My husband has his own little collection uh, that he keeps in his bedroom. I'm not sure if I'll be including that in this video. I'm, I'm even thinking maybe I should break up this video into parts because this is becoming a very, very, very long video. Uh, probably the longest video I've ever made. So I'll see how it goes. Um, now I will... I think I'm going to show you my uh, sample stash and how I store that.